What's up guys, it's Raph. We are going to Valley Fair, which will convert to Valley Scare tonight when it gets dark. We're coming up to the amusement park. Awesome. With all the awesome rides. It's gonna be fun, can't wait. Wow, which one are we gonna go on first? What's We're gonna go on all system? those roller coasters, it's gonna be fantastic. Like, all that, that ride that goes up, up Valley Fair. Gonna be sweet. A lot of roller coasters to go on. Gonna have a blast. Let's get in there, get parked. Oh, there's, there's the wheel there. The big and then go to Valley wheel. Scare, the haunt. Big <laughs> sweet. See Here we are. This says Steel Venom. It goes way up. Then it goes way back there. Then it goes up there. Pretty cool ride. It's getting dark out. The lights are turning on. We're going to go back into the uh, Valley Scare and see what else we can see. All right, see ya. Giant swing. <laughs> Pretty cool place. That's the wild thing. We'll get on there eventually. All right, moving on. All right, we are at the Tower of Power. The one where it either shoots you straight up or the one where it brings you straight down. Let's get it. Starts you here and then shoots you straight up. Freaking awesome. Woo! <laughs> oh yeah. Alright, I'm going on. See ya. <laughs> Another swing right here. Got a power swing, looks pretty cool. Let's get it. Long wait in line. Just went on wild thing. How was it, bud? That was a huge drop. It was awesome. Whew, worth the wait. One hour wait. I'm cold. You're actually cold. <laughs> awesome. Wild thing. See All right, guys. I'm back uh, from the Valley Scare uh, experience. So I just want to talk a little bit about the things that we did off camera. Um, that was a bunch of the haunted house rides or attractions they had there. Um, so as you saw in the video. Got there around 6 o'clock. Tons of people. A lot of cars there. A lot of people. Waited in line. Get the tickets and everything. And it turns out that our um, our fast lane, it's like a it's like an extra pass to get, you know, to get through the lines quicker. You know, you pay a premium. So for my particular pass, it didn't work on Saturdays. It only works on Fridays and Sundays. So I had to wait in line with everyone else, the general people. So that really sucked because we didn't get to go on half of the rides there because we just didn't have enough time uh every roller coaster we went on was at least 45 minute wait up to an hour on the uh the wild thing um but yeah tons of people there just crazy um but yeah it was a cool vibe they had these smoke machines everywhere throughout the park just pumping out smoke to kind of give this kind of a an eerie feel throughout the park which is really really neat uh yeah the vibe was cool uh so now the roller coasters are fantastic. You know the, the the wild thing was really great. Did a little reaction after that. The swing one where you go back and forth, uh, that was sweet because it just propels you forward and then pulls you back and then kind of 
waits for a moment, looking straight down, then it's just a really cool ride. Now the one that the the swing that goes around like this, we waited about 30 minutes in that line, and then they had some technical uh some technical, you know, repairs going on. I don't know what it was, but it basically delayed it about a half hour. So we walked around a little bit, and as we're walking past it, it was working again. So I was like, man, we're not gonna wait in line again. So couldn't do that, maybe next time. Um, but then there's three uh, haunted houses we went to. The first one was like uh, some kind of cleaver, some kind of meat meat factory, meat house, whatever it was. So you go in there. And what's great about the haunted houses is that the, the line is con- you know constantly moving. There's no like huge wait. So they, they, they let people in in big groups. So one group goes in, they wait about maybe 30 seconds, and then another big group goes in. So that was nice, kind of a nice smooth transition. But the cleaver place was really cool because there's like, you know, severed bodies hanging from the from from the ceiling there's body parts in bags all over the place and you know blood all over the walls they have these little you know, pig faces and all this stuff and just it was, it was pretty creepy and everything and, and when they have these little trap doors where these crazy people can kind of go through and kind of cut through the lines back and forth throughout the place you don't know where they're coming from so that was really cool i think that was probably my favorite just because of the vibe of the, you know, the gore and everything it was really cool so that was fun uh the second one we went to was more like a, a, a mansion um it was like an older setting, um, kind of like uh, I forget the term of, but you know those those masks they put on with the long nose and they got the the, the ears, and uh, it, was, it was kind of a what is it called a masquerade masquerade something or other. Anyway, it was really creepy because you go in there, statues everywhere, creepy statues, cogwebs, people swinging on ropes and stuff, and it was kind of a velvety kind of a feel to it. A lot of red in there laser lights going everywhere and stuff pretty cool vibe that was really fun wasn't as good as the meat place though it only had a couple people in there to kind of jump out and scare you and then the last one we went on uh that was a, a high school some some high school terror so you go in like a like abandoned high school it wasn't abandoned but it was a high school with this just trash everywhere there's the desks everywhere and chairs and then these psycho kids that were screaming and, and looking in the corner and bouncing their heads off the walls and people going back and forth and and these just crazy teachers that want to keep you in class and then you know scare you it was fantastic it, it was really fun that was the last one we went on but that was really cool they didn't have that my favorite was the clown the clown asylum or the, the actually what there was an insane asylum this is when i went three years ago they didn't have it this time insane asylum was fantastic that was just my favorite because just this crazy crazy you know people that and then straps and they're, they're, they're handcuffed. They couldn't, you know, there's crazy loony people going all over. They're not crazy, but, you know, mentally insane and all that stuff. That was just fun. Uh, but then, then there was a clown one, like a haunted clown asylum, where there's clowns with chainsaws and there's creepy clowns in like this uh, black light outfit. So you don't know where he's coming from and stuff. They didn't have those two um, haunted houses there. So that was kind of disappointing. But anyway, the, the, clown, the clown place they had was just more of like an area and just random clowns just kind of walking around and stuff. So... Anyway, the the haunted the haunted scare was pretty fun. I just say definitely invest in the fast lane pass when you go to these things because the lines are just nuts. Um, but we'll definitely go uh, next year. We'll be more prepared. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching this uh, video. My little uh, impressions of the uh, Valley Scare vlog. So thanks for watching, guys. You have a great day. Like, subscribe, share. Appreciate it. Comment below if you know about Valley Fair if you've been there before. And I'll see you guys next time. Home theater rules. Wrap out. See ya. Thank you.